sometimes that is better. Jason Carpenter is saying I want Danielle Harris back in Halloween, direct sequel to four. Uh, my pitch, that would be your pitch to Malik Akkad. I would like, I think if they I think if they revisit the Thorn trilogy, I won't want I would want a brand new reimagining of it. Put Danielle Harris in it, maybe another kid character who gets the transference of evil thing. But I think if they're gonna go down that plot line, you gotta set that up pretty damn close to immediately. Because I think that was the big thing that put people off with Halloween Ends, is that I like the idea of Michael being able to transfer his evil to another character, but that feels like a that feels like the end of the first movie in like a duology, or like maybe they should have done that at the end of Kills, where it sets up the next film. So it doesn't feel completely unexpected and blindsides you with that at the beginning of the next movie. It's like if they would have set that up instead of doing all of the other setup that they did in Halloween Kills for this badass finale that we just never got. I would have been way more into it. It would have been like, okay, we know what to expect now. You know, Corey's been a character this whole time and he gets the evil put into him or something at the end of Kills. Like, if that was the, the ending of fucking Halloween Kills, I'd been like, shit, they're going to do something fucking wildly different for the next movie. I'm into that. So I think they should do a reimagining of the Cult of Thorns, where it's like you have this movie focuses on Michael Myers, but there's all that, you know, mystical shit in the background. They're setting that up slowly throughout this first movie. Then the next one, which would be your Halloween five reimagining is kind of, you know, building that up a little more. And then at the end, like I said, set up the next movie for to, to do that. And then bam, the sixth one, which would be the third one technically is all about that. That's fun. I can get into that. It doesn't feel like I'm slapped in the face with a fish, you know, when I was expecting Michael Myers stabbing people in the face. <laughs> I could get into something like that, but they got to redo the whole thing, I think. I, I don't think they should do a direct continuation to four. Redo four. Redo the whole story. You got to start from scratch, in my opinion, with that one. Especially because I feel like most people haven't seen Halloween four. Like, even I feel like Halloween fans may not have seen this one. This is a more of an underground film. This was coming out when, you know, slashers were, like, just blowing up like crazy in the 80s. They're like, we got to put some Halloween movies out. Holy shit. Every, you know, Jason's making more money than us. Freddy is, is going crazy. Fuck. We <laughs> We got to get something out. So Halloween four came out and I like it. I think it's really underrated. Um, probably one of my, probably the most underrated film in the, that's hard to say. It's in my opinion right now, it's the most underrated film. If this was 20 years ago, maybe Halloween three, but I think it's very underrated.